Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the Canon Pixma MP640 multifunction printer. Now before I kick off this review I should just mention that I'm recording this with a Sanyo Zacti VPC FH1. It's a little camcorder that I reviewed recently and this gives you the chance to see the quality of the footage that this little camcorder can shoot. Now on with the review of the MP640. I unboxed and set up this printer about a month ago for you and I've had a great deal of feedback from that setup video and now I'm ready to bring you my review and my opinion about the uh, Canon MP640. Before I do that, a quick rundown on the specifications of this little printer. Uh, it's an inkjet printer, it's capable of obviously printing, it's also capable of scanning and copying because it's got a built in uh, scanner bed in the unit which is very very useful indeed um, it offers three different types of connection you can connect via USB you can connect via Ethernet into your uh, home network or as you can see from this light on the front here you can connect via Wi-Fi now the MP640 uses five separate ink tanks a little bit different configuration to some printers uh, uses four main colours which are dye based inks and they're cyan, magenta, yellow and black but also it has an additional black which is a pigment based ink and it uses this to produce crisp text output and it really does work in practice too. The prints are up to 9600 dpi, scans are up to 4800 dpi and it will also print directly onto printable surface CDs and DVDs. It's also worth mentioning that with this Wi-Fi connection you can not only print but you can also scan over a wireless connection as well. Now in use I've been very 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 pleased with the uh, the scanning quality. The scanning is uh, very quick, uh, it's got great amount of detail even in darker areas it certainly performs very well. Now with the uh, printing, printing of uh, business type documents is superb and also printing of uh, photos has far exceeded my expectations. So I'm going to set a photo print in now um, and show you it actually in action. So I've set a photo printing now and it's printing from uh, iPhoto on my iMac. This is a photo that I took with a Canon SX200 IS and it's actually printing in a standard quality mode so I haven't even set this to the highest quality. Uh, it's a 300 dpi image and it's printing at full A4 edge to edge output onto semi gloss paper. So this gives you an idea of both the speed of the Canon MP640 and also the resulting uh, quality of the output. Now while this is finishing uh, the print I should also mention that uh, I haven't used the copying function much uh, but you can actually place an original on that glass and just use this like a little mini photocopier and it does work very well. Um, I also like the dual tray inputs. Now this gloss paper I actually loaded into the rear of the printer. There is also a tray just located underneath where the print is exiting the printer and I keep that loaded with just standard paper. Um, so very very useful the fact that I can keep normal paper in the printer for everyday use and just load that speciality media in the back of the printer. So this print's almost finished now. It's taken just over a minute and a half to uh, print out this A4 full colour. And when that exits the printer I can give you a good look at this. I'm very impressed indeed with this. If you look at this, this is very true to the original photo. It's picked out all of the detail in the water here. It's picked out the nice shadows underneath the boats and then this punchy orange colour. It's treated that very well indeed on this Life Boy. It is a very good reproduction. Uh, for the continuing part of this review, I'm going to pop this under the scanner glass and um, I'm going to scan this back in so you can see the MP640 uh, performing a scan.
but I have the Canon MP640 connected to my iMac via Ethernet. I use Photoshop, it's my preferred application for all of my scanning. Once the Canon scan gear software is installed, I can access it via the file import menu. Then this brings up the scanning interface. I can choose between uh, various modes as well, so it's worth noting that basic mode, if I switch to that, uh, just gives you a few options, so you can select the source, uh, be it photo, magazine, newspaper or document. I can do a preview, I can select a destination, be it for print, image or OCR, the output size, and I can also do some basic image corrections here, and then perform the scan. In auto scan mode, I've got even fewer options, I just simply place the document on the scanner glass, and then I hit scan, and it determines what type of document I've placed on there. Or advanced mode, which is the, the mode that I use, I can select uh, whether I'm scanning the full platen or a certain area of the platen. I can select color, grayscale, or black and white. Output resolution I can change here. I can also change the output size. I can also do some image adjustment here, depending on my settings that I've got set up here. Some of them might be grayed out, but certainly for a full color scan, I can set unsharp masks to on. I can use a de screening function, reduce dutch dust and scratches, I can do grain correction as well and I can even perform some extra sort of curve adjustments and colour adjustments here. Hitting preview does a preview in this case of the full platen glass so very quick preview and then I can either scan the whole glass or I can just mark out an area here so I'm marking out our full A4 area and even performing uh, an A4 full screen full colour scan at 300 dots per inch is fairly quick on the MP640. So I'm going to leave this running for you just to give you an idea of, of how long it does take to perform this full uh, A4 scan. At the moment we're looking at about 10 to 15 seconds. And this includes processing time as well, it's not just the MP640 uh, performing the scan, it's at the actual iMac processing that information as well. So it's just coming to the end of doing the scanning now and I'm sure you'll agree that it's not uh, the quickest scanner but certainly quick enough when you take into account that's a 300 dpi uh, full A4 scan. Now once that's uh, finished scanning and importing into Photoshop and presented with the scan there, I can just rotate that as well so that we've got it right way up and I'm sure you'll agree that the quality of that scan is more than acceptable the, again, the colour reproduction of the orange is, is more or less spot on, and the detailing in the water here, very, very good. Let's go up to 100% just to give you a close-up look of that. And you take into account as well, this is scanning an inkjet printout that you saw me do earlier in the review. I really don't think you've got anything to complain about, about the scanning ability of the MP640. I just want to give you a closer look at the control panel that you use on the MP640. It's very, very easy to use. You've got a nice, clear colour display here. You've got the on-off button located here. We've got two soft buttons here, which uh, really uh, operate in different ways depending on what mode you're in. At the moment, they're shortcuts to remain in ink volume and also an introduction to the printer. Uh, this one here is a navigation button to navigate between different menus. This one here is the home button which brings you back out to this main screen every time. And then on this side of the unit we've got a stop button so if the unit is performing perhaps a printout or a copy you can stop it by pushing this button. We've got quick access buttons here for either black and white or colour copying. And then we've got uh, buttons here which are plus and minus and if you're in copy mode or you're printing out a photo direct from memory card, then you can push up and down on these to increase or decrease the number of copies. 
Here we've got a back button which just takes you back one step in the menu system. And then here is a very nice control system. We've got actual uh, click buttons for up, down, left and right. But it also acts as a rotating ring. So you, if your preference is to rotate this, instead of clicking you can just move the wheel around. And then in the middle we've got an OK button which is the same as pushing sort of enter or return to make a selection. Now I'm not going to delve into every single menu here. If I just push the home button it takes me back to copy. Next one round is for printing from memory card. Next one round is easy photo print. Next one round is for settings. Then we've got a photo index sheet so you can print out a sheet uh, which will show you all of the contents from a memory card. Then we've got a CD label print. Then we've got a scanning function. And then we're back around to copy. So fully featured menu system, very easy to navigate. I think Canon have done a very good job of the UI on this printer and I do certainly like that click wheel a lot. A full set of inks for the Canon MP640 costs as little as £19 for third party inks or if you go for the Canon originals they're going to cost you around about £40. So very low running costs for this printer, I like that a lot. It's really welcome that I'm not going to have to spend a lot on inks every time they run out. I've been very pleased with the Canon MP640 so far and would definitely recommend it to others. The RRP in the UK is £185, but if you shop around you can get it for as little as £135, or if you're in the US it's going to cost you round about the $200 mark. Well thanks very much for listening, this has been my review of the Canon Pixma MP640. Come back soon and check out more reviews on the Geekanoids channel. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw making drawing fun on Mac OS X.